All right, so I'm going to show you my little encoder box I've built here. Um, so it has 12 encoders on it. And inside this, just so you get an idea, there's this rat's nest of wires and this little USB keyboard. Uh, you can use a, there's some other boards that are pretty cheap you can build with this. And there's 12 encoders with push buttons and they just map as a USB keyboard. So when you move one, um, it just puts different letters on or if you click them. So you can see there. So I need to fix this with some uh, debouncing because sometimes you hit one and it generates a few. But anyway, you get the idea. So now all I've done is in the PicoScope software, I'm mapping these to various things. So now it's just like you have a um, sort of a real oscilloscope, so to speak. So you've got a little panel here. And let me just move this so you can see everything. And for example, I can move, adjust the, um, oops. And the problem is that the software, of course, has to be able to receive the keystrokes. Let's close all this. Um, so there you go. So as you move one of these, it adjusts the settings in the software. And the cool thing is that you can choose to do whatever you want. So these ones I'm actually using to scale um, vertically rather than the normal offset because in the software you can just throw this around and I think that's a lot easier than a knob. Um, and of course you have over here, oops, uh, if you just press on them it just resets it so that makes it really easy too. Oops, too far. There we go, and uh, we have the time base, you know, you can do this as normal. Uh, this guy I've chosen to make a zoom. Again, everything's totally configurable for whatever you want. Just get the zoom window out of the way there, and then you can zoom in and out. Um, so that way you can use a, you know, see the whole waveform and then quickly zoom in. Um, what do we have here? This one lets you switch between, so with the Pico scope, you can um, capture a bunch of buffers, so you can switch between them with this guy. Everything you can change if you want. Um, oh, let me turn that channel back off. The trigger level down here, so you can see it moving. And you can switch between trigger modes by hitting the button itself. Um, to turn channels on, it's pretty straightforward. You just rotate them, and you can see it'll turn the channel on. And then you can adjust the um, volts per div and you can switch between AC and DC offset by just clicking on them. So for example, there we go, AC, DC. I'm going to turn to channel B on. Oops. Uh, I'm in 15 volt, 15 bit mode, so it limits you to two channels. Um, so let's turn on all the channels. There we go, and again, you can, oops, I may not have set them all up as Properly, so there we go. Change all the channels on, scale them down. Um, but you get the idea. So, this is just a little physical board that's controlling our, um, our software device. So, now you have something more. If you want to have knobs for your oscilloscope, you can build this. So, this is just using a uh, teensy, ideally a Teensy 2.0. So, it's about a $24 USB board, and then the encoders are 2 or $3 each, plus all the knobs. All right.